Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is a question that I've received from a viewer. So before I start, if you have any questions that you want me to do a video about, please email me linda at lindaray.info. My link is below in the description and you can have your question turn into a video also. So today I've received a question from a, from a lovely woman who asked me when she uses her pendulum, can it be her loved ones that come through like a deceased mother or a grandmother? So I want to go there today and talk about this. The first thing, whenever we're using what I call psychic tools, okay, psychic tools or trade tools, whenever you want to use it. So not only have we got the pendulum, but we've also got the dowsing rods, which can go yes or no, right? Then we've also got, ta-da, the tarot cards and other things like Ouija boards, right? The first thing, whenever I say what we use, you've got to remember it can be anyone or anything that comes through. Can it be an angel using the rods to give us message? Yes. Can it be your dead grandmother giving you messages? Yes. Can it be your ex-boyfriend who's died and coming through? Yes. If you go to a graveyard, can it be one of the ghosts there? Yes. Okay. I've had good use with the dowsing rods at, go, um, at cemeteries. So then we also go into the any things. You know the things out there that start with D and that sounds like Matt Damon? I don't say the word, but we must be very careful because when we're using these tools like pendulums, etc., we don't know who's directing it. Even if they say, my name is whoever, do we have to trust it? No, we don't. And my suggestion to you is don't trust it, okay? I had my friend over last week because, hello, there was a lotto draw here in Australia and it was $200 million. Boy, I would have been dangerous if I'd won that or a share of it because I'm very generous when I come into good money. But... The whole thing is we used the pendulum and we used tarot cards etc and we got number 17 came out and guess what the powerball was number 10 so we don't always get the right information on this so please whatever you do if you are dabbling with any of these tools pendulums dowsing rods Ouija boards etc please remember that the information is not that always accurate okay so that's your first one. Psychic abilities can never be regulated because it's so unguaranteed. Okay? If every time I said to someone the truth of what was really going to happen in the future, I would be an instant billionaire, and so would you, because it, um, psychic ability is innate, which means it's natural. So we would all be multi billionaires if we had this all the time, constantly correct, right? And that's why whenever you come to me as a psychic, you've got to be aware it's not guaranteed, right? So getting back on point here, with pendulums, I always say three things with pendulums or any other tools. First one, do your protections. Make sure you put up your protections and ask your gods, your guides, your higher self, whoever it is that protects you. Make sure they're on board before you even dabble with any of these. Second one, give thanks. Tell them how thankful you are that they're assisting you in using any tool, psychic tool, okay? Third one, oh my God, which is probably the best one, test it. So when you've got your pendulum, mine's got a little curl on the top of his, of his um, you can see it here. So I put my finger through it. We can test it. So the first thing is I do my protections, then I give my thanks, and then I say, if you're here, Please show me your answer for the number for the answer no. What's your answer for number for no? So it might do a circle. So you go, okay, when my pendulum does a circle, that means no. Can you please show me what your answer for yes is? So it might go left to right like yes. So then we test it. Okay? Can you again show me what you are for no? 
If it goes back and forward, hello, we just had that for yes. You know something's wrong with your pendulum. So we test it. Is Linda a girl? Hopefully it does a yes. Okay, because <laughs> last time I checked, I was a girl. Okay, so you test it with things that we know. You might want to do like five or ten questions. Okay, is there a doll in the background behind me? Yes. Oh, wow, that was right. And then you go back and ask it again after like 10 questions later. Is there a doll behind Linda? And if it comes up as no this time, then you know something's wrong, right? So we've got to realize pendulums, etc. all these tools that we use in the psychic realm, they're not guaranteed and they are for entertainment purposes only, okay? But the severity is anything can come through interdimensionally and attach so we've got to be so careful with every protection and guarding ourselves and others okay whenever I do stuff in my house I'm always protecting my daughter and my cat because I certainly don't want anything to hurt them I even go out and say protect everyone in my street just in case it comes down like a tsunami on me so we've got to be very very careful and this is where we come to our ego and that's our last bit and that's the biggest thing whenever you want to dabble with this sort of stuff ask yourself why do you want to do it if you have a question like oh I want to know if my boyfriend loves me then that's not something for a t for a pendulum that's something for you to work out within yourself as to why you've got those self doubts or you've got trust issues where you don't rely on what he's saying to you or that gives you that hint then to look at evidence to see if there's any evidence as to why you shouldn't trust that person okay yeah you, know, you may say oh I need and um, when will I win the million dollars well what would you do with it ask yourself these questions so you make your goal and there's other better easier ways of manifesting stuff than using these psychic tools that can be quite inaccurate okay all right so I hope that this has helped you today could it be your loved one that comes through absolutely and if it is I hope and pray they give you the right answers you know I hope and pray that every time someone contacts me as a psychic then I give them the accurate information that's going to assist and benefit their life but at the end of the day it's entertainment purposes only and it's not always guaranteed and the big thing here is you don't know who's coming or what is coming through. So I hope this has helped you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.